That the circumstances of that are so rare. Guys, first time ever on the stream. <laughs> What am I supposed to do about that? There's no point in even playing Bucket Bay anymore. No, it turns to the- I'm stupid, I'm dumb. This is insane, what am I supposed to do here? Huh? Gramps Basito. So do I just get rid of this? I guess if he plays Forget-Me-Nuts, we'll keep this in case of the one thing that screws this whole- our whole entire life up. Okay, jeez. See if he has Blockbuster on this Bullseye deck. Oh my gosh, I kind of played into it. <laughs> All right. I mean, this is the perfect shitstorm. This is bull a Bullseye. We got no... We got zero chance. So we need to get the one in three imp in order to survive this turn. Huh? Huh? Good enough. Good enough. Come on. Okay. Teleport. Oh, snap. <laughs> we still alive. Bad Moon Rising. No! <laughs> We're still alive though, I don't care. If we get Imp Throwing Imp from Imp Throwing Imp, and it lands in lane 3, and I think we survive here. Yeah, yeah we do. <laughs> We're still alive, I don't know that. How is it turn 10? How did this game go to turn 10? It should have been done on turn 4. This guy didn't get very good. Okay, okay. We need Imp Throwing Imp in lane 3, and we're still alive. And we'll get the Bad Moon Rising next turn. God damn it. I think we should count that as a win for surviving until turn 10. It's just my opinion. He didn't- wow, this guy has a bad hand. Can we get strike through environment for the win, please? Please? God damn it. It's Bucket Bay. We got the worst environment, literally the worst one in the game. I wonder if I should even play Mug, or I should go for the win in this lane. Rising? I think he- he- see, the one damage would kill this, right? He's not even gonna. He's still Bad Moon Rising, too. So this is lethal. <laughs> Alright guys, I have a very difficult decision here. This is guaranteed lethal. This is the, the this is completely and utterly lethal. It covers the environment. It's 11 damage to face. But you know what? What fun would that be? I don't care. No, want to be hero for 11 health? They're pretty good. Yes, we win anyway. Yeah, we'll make it 14 health. Get wrecked. I don't care. Very angry. No one gives a damn. Yes, and we win anyway. <laughs> I even showed him the bucket bay. I'm so bad. Hell yeah. Always embrace the BM value. <laughs> I love how the chat's like, just win! What are you doing, bro? <laughs> no, go for the back moon rising, it's way more. <laughs> Alright, we won anyway. I did both. Bro. Bro. We. <laughs> I think we go face. He actually fruit cakes this one. I was gonna play around it, but it's the same chance. We have to just not roll a two and a three. If he does that anyway, he blocks this one. Imagine him not blocking it. Um, <laughs> stupid, bro. I, well, I don't know what I'm really supposed to do about that. I guess nothing. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, both of them can go in the water. Now he has to draw two cards in order to get saved. I think Lily Pad just won us the game. He has to draw two cards with a forget me nuts on the field. Never mind. That's just one of his superpowers. Wow. Uh, and he has Undying Pharaoh, so we're never gonna win this game. Not in a billion, trillion, gazillion, wazillion years. Alright guys, it's time to play What the Heck is the Play? Uh, play around HG Super. Heck yeah. Yeah, we can't do a damn thing. Not a damn thing. We'll play around. <laughs> <laughs> he's still going for a super, but he still can't do a damn thing here. I guess the Pecanolith will want to go here, so for this one. He's gonna play HG Super on turn 3, watch him. <laughs> Got him. I don't think he can really- no, he can't play anything else. Even zero cost trick still costs 2. Let's see what we top deck. Something that works with 3 nut and is not a 3 nut. I forgot you only run 3, uh, 3 3 nuts in a deck. And he deadlies the wrong lane. And he gets mopped. I'm freaking believable, guys. He got, I mean, would flame face have been better? Well, this is, this has got to be lethal. I can't play. He's not, he's not going to have a zero cost smoke bomb in his hand. Got him. Um, so there, there, there is, okay, we could actually wait on the final mission here and kill the Star Lord with our super. Pretty sure that's what I'm going to do. It means we can final mission and then going viral next turn, which is really good. Oh, did that do a frenzied attack? I don't think I've ever seen a barrel of dead beards do a frenzied attack before. That the circumstances of that are so rare. Guys, first time ever on the stream. Let's go. Oh boy. Ma, what? 
<laughs> what have I done? Oh, this sucks so much. What am I supposed to do about that? That's so bad. Hello? I'd love to get the cheese cutter here. Bruh. Come on, man. No, wait. Oh, stupid. I should have played her off again. I would just wait till he... I, there's no... I can't pass. I don't know. Probably better still not to play it, though. And look at this curve on turn six. I think I'm gonna do it like this for the best next time. No, it's Conga, which he conjured one cost Conga. He got from freaking. I should have known since it was a one cost gravestone. I should have thought about the Conga. Uh... Oh man. <laughs> We're done. GG. Hey, it's fine. You know what? We lost some gold. It's okay. <laughs> What is this? That's garbage. So he conjures the card. Watch him play it now. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. So if this is a, a rodeo guard, it would be at seven, six, five, would cost four. So it can't be a rodeo guard. Could be a pogo though. I'm gonna play around pogo. Got him. But he leaps it. That's so annoying. He gets a five now. This is insane. What am I supposed to do here? This is crazy, guys. Ah, <laughs> it's so annoying. He giganticus. Being huge gigantic is it's complete garbage. No, it turns to the stupid. I'm dumb. Bye, imitator. Pain. I'm gonna have to spend my entire turn five play really dealing with like his turn three play. I mean, it's just <laughs> it's so brick. It's a combination of us being completely bricked and him being. Just getting insanity. Like, what am I supposed to do about that? It's a flag, buried treasure. See what's in the box. Still have three for it going viral. There's shark. So it's two cost shark on this field. That is so good. He already used two sham rockets, so he's probably done it in the big removal department for the rest of the game. Usually, you don't even run more than three in a deck. And this high health play just does not do enough. Period. And that's guaranteed lethal. GG. Listen, guys, everyone's getting surprised that this deck is 4 0, but at the end of the day, this is Flag Conjure, and we removed Cosmic Sports Star and put in Firefighter. It's home try it. It's like, <laughs> this is a good deck. I just mix up. My gosh, she just gets poppin' poppies from Seedling, okay? Alright, this is going well so far. <laughs> Time to play Guess What Turn It Is. Okay, he's going with Electric Reed, you guys. <laughs> Look at the Lightning Reed getting it done. <laughs> My gosh. Okay, so we're playing Teleportation Zombie. This is... <laughs> it's gonna have been any better. Let's watch this play now. And like that. Uh, yep. Now, we could win with Trickster, but come on, guys. <laughs> what fun would that be? Literally zero fun. Gotta get the gondola going. That's very cool. You can actually free teleport and get an 8 attack Trickster here. We <laughs> 8 damage! The 8-9 friend here. Uh, so we one of these. One of these. And one of these. Actually, no, we should be letting this hit our face. Whoops. Yeah, I should have froze this one. I completely misplayed. If he would have done six damage to me, I would have killed him. No, he just gets guys, and who knows what happens. He has more heals. <laughs> He's not gonna own a block meter. We're spray nana. Let me cover the. <laughs> Alright. These two look pretty good. Alright, let's go. Black IP, Desperation, and I'm big in it. So he wins that trade now. But, but we actually can block because of the Monkey Pirate. Getting a strike through environment here would be complete, utter insanity. Oh my gosh, that's so much value because not only does this hit, it turns to a 5-5. Five, five. It means Monkey Pirate's getting buffed too to a 3-4, which is so good. The fact we have the full block meter. Oh, this actually grows twice, so it actually wins the trade. So even if we, even if he blocks, now he needs freezer a lucky blow. Actually, if he blows this one, he wins, though. He's not even going after it. There's no point in even playing Bucket Bay anymore. Imagine caring more here about the teacher than about things are actually killing him. Okay. Bro, so we, we, we do it here. Yes! 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 Come on! Just don't hit this one. God damn it! <laughs> Okay, everything's fine. Can I actually play both tricks here? That sounds good. Oh, wait, we take it. Oh yeah? Eh? All right, it's a chance at winning this game. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! We win 3.7 games with Bucket Day. I'm so happy.
Guys, Bucket Bay succeeds once again. Bucket Bay. Don't even worry about it. The Bucket Bay deck is overpowered. Bucket Bay definitely carry that game. Think about it. If it weren't for Bucket Bay, that genetic experiment would have been dead. He would have been dead a long time ago. He would have been dead years ago. Heck yes. Bucket Supremacy is correct. Never undervalue the, the, the power of Bucket Bay. Rolling a one like a boss. Like a boss.